Anyway, we are going to have another match, which... Which will be... Which will be on Vitra, so I hopefully we'll have a slightly easier time in this. It's a pretty standard map. I mean, Avalanche is quite a bit more constrained. Like, that. that's the case where our factory counter really comes in. This one, on the other hand, is a bit more flexible. Can't really use vehicles, but anything else will work just fine. So I'll use probably shield bots. And then that will be... Yeah, let's try my, one of my battle comms. Not that I lost my comm last time. Actually, okay, go here and go for shields. I mean, I realize playing the long game is a little bit risky when playing against Google Frog, but it might work. And we begin once again. Going for a shield bot factory, which I will go for the typical start with dirtbags and then go for a few bandits. Actually, go for a few bandits after them. No, not now. Dirtbag first, then worker. Go in. This is on six. This is on five and four, respectively. And you, I want to have you build energy quickly and then switch over to here. Building this in between, or first, and then this, and then another one of this. Static defense is pretty important in this game. It's something that I keep learning the hard way, but yeah, it's a very important thing to do in this game. Is to have it. I want this on one. Both of these should be on one. But yeah, static defense is really important in this game. Cannot be understated, or overstated rather. Cannot be overstated because static defense is really, really, really important. It is one of those things that... Okay, Spiderbot Factory. Interesting. So we shall see how spiders are played by someone who knows what they're doing. Well, that will be interesting. I shall see what I can do to try to comment on what Google Frog is doing that I should have done. Okay, get that in. And this means I want to go for rogues. Because one of the things about Spiderbots is that they actually, as you saw last time, they have a hard time dealing with skirmishers. Rockos are considered to be almost a hard counter to the factory. And rogues are probably no exception. They're a little bit easier to use, but still, they're probably no exception. Yeah, okay, that was... That was a thing that would happen. This is why bandits are a little bit hard to use here. I am going to be waiting for my rogues, then when those come in, then I'll be in good spot. I should probably... Oh, should I morph this? Like, morphing is worth thing. You kind of want to do it only when you need to. Because of the expense, especially at this stage with like 8.6, 15.4. Yeah, not the best position for doing something like, that. okay, four, jump bot, ah, okay. Dirtbag is stuck. Dirtbag has been stun locked, but at least I know where they're set up. They're set up over here. Google Frog is set up over on the west side of their base. And I am also set up on the west side, but I don't think Google Frog actually knows this yet. Anyway, yes, as I was saying, morphing is fairly expensive. Does it say? Yes, it does. 250, 250, and it costs time 20. Huh, it's 12.5 build power. That's, I think that's actually a weird exceptional case. Like, build power is normally kind of set, but I think that's one of those exceptional cases where it's just whatever it was arbitrarily set to. Oops, I want to do that. That's no, fine. Okay, it's one of those cases I think it's weird to just arbitrarily set to some value rather than being set to something a bit more sensible. Like, with... With everything else the commander does is 10 build power, but that one is apparently 12.5. Which is a little bit awkward, but that's how it goes, I suppose. Okay, this is where I'm going to want to have a bit more radar. I've been throwing these bandits away, and actually, do I don't even want radar here. Do not build radar there. Build radar here, in between the power and the metal. And you, when you're done, actually build a caretaker here. I want a caretaker here first. And I want more rogues. The thing is, the rogue's going to need to know where the spiders are. The venoms are rather tricky. Need to make sure I see them coming, because otherwise they'll stun lock the rogues, and then I'll completely not deny the entire range advantage and the entire point of building the rogues instead of anything else. Okay, this is up. This is up. I want more of this, and possibly another lotus. And, yeah, that's the fleas. Don't even manage to do too much. The thing is, the fleas are weak. They're great for scouts, and actually something I should be screening for a lot more than I am. So to that effect, I will build up a couple of out or build up an outlaw. Put it behind the rogues. There we go. Perfect. All right. 
Yeah, it's really a nice thing you can do with the integral menu. The really nice thing you can do in general is just throw stuff around. Now, this is a really risky part of this play because I don't know if I'm going to see... I don't think I'm going to see Venoms in time. I might be able to, but these things are on the low ground. That's... Okay, there we go. Now I finally have an idea of where things are. That is useful. Okay, so that's there, and... Bandits? Forget the front lines. Go to the back lines. Kill as much as you can behind everything else, and recklesses. Yeah, that was... That was what I was trying to do in my game, and it wasn't a bad idea, so we'll probably see it used fairly effectively here. Because my micro is not the best right now. Okay, you go on and just patrol around here. Oh, shoot, I already lost one of them. Oh, yeah, the Redbacks have longer range than I expected. Go into fight mode! Wait, what the? No, get away from... Okay, apparently fight mode does not work with radar. That's good to know, and also apparently Venoms can actually catch up to the rogues. Also good to know next time I play shields ver or spiders versus shields. That'd be another useful bit of knowledge. Okay, you're on two, get out here, and bandits on one. Get rid of this defender, get rid of this metal extractor. Deal some damage. Reduce my embarrassment. And you are... Actually, you two go on three. Go over here. And you go up here and attack from this side. Do you see there are fleas coming down? I'm not worried about the fleas, although I am a little bit worried about these guys here. And why is there a convict on here? This, this convict should not be here. Unless it's building another lotus or otherwise allowing me to advance forward a bit more slowly. And that comic's building. This comic's building. There's actually another... Wait, this convict... What am I doing? Build another caretaker. Build another couple caretakers, actually. And you... I want you to go around here, continuing to look for stuff. I think stuff is going wrong. You attack forward. I want you to distract that Venom. Get that Venom to fall sense security so that these guys can actually deal some damage. Or... Or not. Or overlead. You know. That works, too. Yeah, this... This isn't working at all. Once again, not working. Should probably switch over to Thug Law pretty quick. Because this is clearly not working. Yeah, and where's that band? Okay, so these guys are here. Wait, you should be on. I want you on, and I want you patrolling around. I don't want these fleas getting through here. That's not something I need to have. Not something I appreciate right now. To be quite frank. Actually, you build the radar instead, and then build some more power. This, do I have anything on one? I don't have anything on one. These guys will now be on one. You, my rating force, will be on three. Go around back. Probably another defender has been rebuilt there. I don't know for sure. And skirmish wars are not going well. And actually, I had a pretty good option for skirmish wars. I don't know why I'm not making use of it. Ow, that's Dunlock. Crap. Okay, my commander is... Unlocked. Can I save it? I can! I can save it! Bandit, save the command! No, I can't save it. Not enough HP. That's dead. That was poor! That could have been that could have gone a lot better. It didn't. It could have, but it didn't. For I am incompetent. Well, at least I can reclaim that. If nothing else, I can at least eat everything. I can just eat away my sorrows like a big tub of ice cream. Which incidentally. Actually, sounds pretty good right now. However, I do not have a big tub of ice cream. I actually haven't purchased ice cream at all. In the last year. You stay on patrol. Let me know where the fleas are. Okay, this is... Not particularly ideal. This is less than ideal. But this, however, this massive bandits here and Thug Law... Actually, you know what? I'm going to go Thug Law. Especially against spiders. I should probably go Thug Law... In. Yeah, put it at the end so I can build it a Thug Law Ball first. You, you can kill this. Kill that thing. I want it dead. I want its... I guess it didn't really have a head. If it had a head, I want its head on a silver platter, but given that it doesn't, you're excused. You needn't put its head on a silver platter. I will allow it. I will allow that to not happen. But only this once. Only because it is physically impossible. Okay, get me more of my army here, and I've got to be careful here. Because it turns out there's a crab. That is worrisome. Where can my bandits go? I have 
So Venom here. Bandits can go along here. And Venom found some of them, but is not able to deal with all of them at once. Unfortunately, he's able to deal with them enough of them at once because they're getting split up. And my Thug Glob Ball should probably go along here. Continue to get Thug Glob... Oh, Felon! Felon! Found my Felon! All right, let's go. This is going to be death. Or me, probably, but at least this gives me a shot. What's my current Q? And the bandits are okay. They, they allow me to have some extra mobility. Extra maneuverability around the map. One of the weaknesses of the shield factory is that you do end up with essentially having this one blob, as can be seen right now. Now, as demonstrated by this blob, you get one blob. And that's about it. However, Google Frog defended rather lightly, so this blob is going to do a decent job on the east side of the map. The west side of the map, however, not so... Oh, heavy tank! Never mind, that was not a crab at all, that was a pillager. That is actually a really wise counter. Gotta be honest, that's... That's a good choice. Because the thing with... Oh, get, get together. Don't do that. Okay, that's a really wise choice because... The heavy tank factory is basically going to counter the felon. Because the thing with the felon... The thing, the trick behind the Thug Law Felon Ball is that it works really well. Okay, the Felon particularly. The Felon works really well against weak units. And I just realized I, oh, somehow stunned up the Venoms. Okay, that works for me. But yeah, the Thug, the thing with the Thug Law Ball, the Felon works really well against fairly weak units. It doesn't work especially well against relatively tough units. Now, most spider units are frail. They're glass cannons. It's just as a rule, spider units are glass cannons. Okay, you guys get back. You guys get back. Yeah, so spider units, total glass cannons. But that's pretty much only true for spider units over here. I don't really care about anything. Just get over here. And actually, you join them. So these guys, are they... Eh, shields haven't healed up yet. Shoot, I need the shields to heal up. I want the shields to heal up first, but I don't think it's going to happen. The felon kind of needs its firepower. And Google Frog is... Countering that a bit too well. Okay, this. Move back. Or move up the hill, actually. They will get the recluse eventually. There we go. Got the recluse out. Get the shield ball on the factory. This will at least kill one of the factories, if not both of them. I'll get rid of the spider bot factory, if nothing else. Yeah, you target the weak stuff. And actually, okay. That's out. Take out the factory. Just go past it. Go past it, kill the factory, don't die in the process. Big problem if you die in the process. There we go, factory down. There's one factory down, at least that's something, but not not a lot. What do I have here? Yeah, I'm in a bit of a desperate position right now. No, 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 no. Okay, that's, that's bad. Like I said, one on offense, two on defense, but hey, at least I'm dealing some damage here. Just <laughs> get packed together. This is less than ideal. It's far less than ideal. At least we get rid of the spider by factory, but honestly, I don't think Google Frog cared. They have the proxy heavy tank factory, and that's really all that matters to them. And put this on two as well, so at least when that gets up, it can drain all the shields of the ball in order to get rid of Oh, shoot, my felon's dead. Okay, well, that's why it's a thug law ball and not a convict felon ball. Convict felon ball is a little bit more vulnerable to that sort of thing. Oh, Google Frog never built back there. Okay, well, at least we can deal some damage here, but I am I am in a desperate, desperate position. The fact that I was able to deal some damage around back was handy, but honestly not what I needed. In fact, build radar first. I don't even know what's around. I've totally lost sight of everything. Actually, you, ah, shoot. That's exactly what I didn't want. Well, I do want Felon. I just, sorry, not Felon. I do want Convict, but yeah, that's... There's the Heavy Tank Factory, and there's a Stinger right there, too, because why not? It's a big deal factory, I might as well have a Stinger there. Actually, if you can kill... No, there's two Stingers. Sheesh. Well, Google Frog thought of everything, that's for sure. But then again, I wouldn't expect any less. Yeah, this... Got better, I suppose. Better than the last couple times, but yeah, like I said. Google Frog is better than me. They're just better at this. Well, they're better at this game than I am. I should be more precise. Not exactly saying that they're more worthy of their existence than I am. But they are more skilled at this game, which is pretty clear. So I don't know if you guys want to see any more 
of me getting bodied by Google Frog, if that's entertaining to you guys or what. If so, I can just keep going. I am actually learning a fair amount about things to do. Like, you know, do a factory switch. Heavy, heavy tanks factory switch is not a bad idea. Or, yeah, that was actually a pretty good idea. Honestly, I just didn't even look. Why did I think of that? Okay, well, that's... Oh. That is game. Well, 15 minutes. Yeah, that wasn't... That's not bad. So yeah, as you can see, it was just this actually. Wow, that was really light. Ah, oh, darn! I sh I should have scouted this out. If I had scouted this out, I would have seen it way too early. Because I would have I saw it on radar. I saw this stuff on radar, but I thought it was just some immobile some mobile units just hanging out. I didn't realize it was actually a factory. Shoot, that was a big deal. And there's nothing really over to the west side of the map, but over to the east side of the map. If I had sent the felon ball this way, oh man, the damage that would have been dealt. I don't know if I would have taken the game, but I would have at least put myself into a better position. Well, that's worth knowing. I, man, I knew there was stuff there. Okay, so, lesson to be learned. When you see a large mass of static dots on radar, assume they are buildings. And act like they're factories and see what the heck they are. Because that was... That really did not work ideally. Okay, well, I see. 748, yeah, I think I might do one more. Maybe one more, and then that will be it. Better map other than Zion. Or low line crossing. Or Sapphire Shores, or something, something decently small. I gotta remember to actually change this map list. Or I have Horus, or Field Devices, or. Uh, no, Tombstone Desert is okay. Wait, why is there an AI here? That should not be there. Okay, so we're going to be starting up on Tombstone Desert in a second. There's an AI I can't deal with, but whatever, it's... It's irrelevant. Okay, never mind, it is totally irrelevant. Because the 1v1 server is smart like that. So, let's see. This map is a map that kind of works for everything. See, I will go once again for battle. I'll go for ride cannon battle. And oh darn it, ceasefire not on. I've oh, right, I gotta fix that. I have fixed that, but I guess not. All right, so this map I will go for light vehicles. And then build and build and build. And then build a bit more. Actually. Oh wait. Don't build there, build there, don't build there. Let a worker deal with that. You move forward. Keep moving forward. And there's actually, actually there's quite a bit of energy reclaim in this map. I should build a worker first and go for that. That'll let me get away with doing metal first. Because this, as you can see, is pretty high metal. Actually, you know what? I just remembered something. I wanted to change that. Oops. I wanted to change the interface for metal. But I don't have the latest. There's actually... There's a test version, or on the test version of 0K, it's, there's a slight improvement where it has plus next to it and has a metal bar on top. Very small interface improvement, but definitely good to have. Not UI layer though, and I really wish it was. That's something that is kind of necessary. All right, let's get that going. So get a Mason up first and get it on Reclaim. This is on six. Get a Mason on Reclaim and then get it building metal and then get it on more Reclaim and more Reclaim. You see, yeah, so as you can see, it's pretty much 2.5, 2.8, kind of all around the board. Wow, this is a lot easier to work with. Skazi was onto something. Okay, that's definitely worth noting. And you go over here, because Google Frog is going to be over in the top left corner. There were those start boxes. Those are not relevant. This actually has four start boxes. It supports four players, but it actually, we're playing just two. Let's speak on one. You go here, you go here, and... Oh, Google Frog's gone cloaky. Interesting. Alright, so Google Frog is going to be going for that, and then my commander will be moving forward. Oh, that was built first? Oh, shoot. That was a bit of a waste. Okay, you target that. I have to take care of that sometime pretty soon. And you go on three. Oh, yeah. Do I have a free shot? Yes, I do! 
It's in line of sight. A few of them in line of sight. Goofrong haven't paying attention. Okay, Goofrong now paying attention, but I can take out two metal extractors. Take advantage of the line of sight. Wow. I actually am able to take care of two metal extractors. Nice. Oh, and of course, I do that as Goofrog does that very same thing to me. Just perfect. I was not paying enough attention. Clever me! That left me at parity. Well, at least I didn't lose out too much. Okay, stop reclaiming. Get back to rebuilding. And then... Then reclaim a bit more and then go up here. Actually, why don't I have enough? I need that on repeat. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, so that, that's slightly better. Okay, so this... Oh yeah, right, that's... Oh crap, I forgot this map. As you can see, the elevation is a little bit wonky. Slightly higher than I expected. <laughs> forgot about that. So there's the Cloakybot factory there. You guys scout out over here. I want to know... It's going to be a likely strategic location over here. Yeah, apparently I overestimated the flatness of this map. Greatly overestimated the flatness of this map. But I might be able to get something off... Actually, no, go down here. The worker is going over to the north side of the map. I need to take care of that first. Once I take care of that, then I can worry about taking care of anything else. And also build the lotus first. And then build the lotus over here. Actually, no, no, no. Ah, whatever. Where's my? Oh shoot! I keep trying to build stuff here. Why am I building stuff? You morph, actually. You, I, I need you here for defense. And actually, why are you on? Be on one. And two's back here at home defending. Uh, you go back here. Two, get rid of these glaives. One, get rid of everything else. Do all the killing you can. Yes, it has been rebuilt. Okay. Millic charges have been rebuilt. Ah, I thought I'd be able to get around that. Could not quite get around that. Okay, you go into group one and go and attack. I'm apparently not quite used to the timings that I need to have in order to actually get this right. Okay, you build more metal. Wait, did I... I lost my one. Shoot. <sighs> And why are you on low pair? Oh, right, because the morphing. That shouldn't make a difference. Well, I guess it does make a difference. Okay, the morphing was an unwise choice here. Might be able to make something out of it, but I kind of doubt it. Okay, well, let's see here. We have five seconds and one metal extractor. Hooray! Although at least my morphing is done, so I'm a riot cannon. Next time the glaives come in, just, just reclaim. Reclaim the glaives. At least you'll be able to do that. And then build again, and then go forward. Because it occurs to me that the commander can, in fact, go up top. The Scorchers can't. I want you on one, anyway. I want you on offense. Ah. There's more. I think I saw a tree collapse over here. Yes, I did. I did, in fact, see a tree collapse over there. I've seen several trees collapse, actually. It's a very easy way to tell whether or not units are outside of your line of sight is if trees collapse. If trees collapse, that means that you have to be careful. You go forward, you join up with group two, go over here, try to intercept the claves. I'm in a really, I put myself in a massive disadvantage. I factory switch, but I'm not sure I actually, actually, I guess I, I, guess I could. I will factory switch to Cloakie. This is just getting embarrassing. I, I can't deal with anything on the hills because I am vehicles. And there's stuff I didn't even realize was there, and that's making my life difficult. Maybe I should switch over to level it. Or, you know, maybe I just drop this entirely. Okay, now reclaim this, and then build more of these everywhere. That was poor. Why do I keep not paying attention? Okay, well, you guys reclaim stuff. Reclaim everything, and then build radar if you can, and then set up more stuff. I don't know. Anything, really. Anything that puts me in a slightly better position than I'm in now. Ah, shoot. 
More death. Just what I need. Okay, well, at least I can get more of these guys up, and that will help. I'm finally in the bot race. Rather than being stuck out here and... Yeah, I'm just building workers. Actually, no. Keep building workers. Keep building the masons. That's fine. They can go around the map, reclaim a bunch of stuff. At least that'll get me somewhere. As of rebuilding myself. It's into a slightly better position. Why don't I have radar? Give me radar. Give me radar right now. And give me power. I said something. That puts me in a slightly better position than I'm in now. And you are on power, but get me more power. The other side. And you look around, because I, I am, once again, on the back foot and need to try to get out of here, and I have, once again, got myself stuck in a really tight spot, so... Get me my levelers. Actually, no, don't put the warriors there. Put the warriors up north, and... This is what the levelers are for, is getting rid of these, getting rid of these Zeus's here. I don't even know if that's going to do the trick. Rockos are really more the bet to go with when dealing with this. But having just lost most of my metal, I'm not in a good spot. Yeah, I'm in a really bad spot right now. Once again, because of silly mistakes that I made early on, because I'm not very good at this game, apparently. Well, not Google Frog. Good. Yeah. Like, really not Google Frog good. This is why I have other people help me out when I'm casting, because clearly I'm no good. Wait, these guys should be on two. What am I thinking? Two is my defensive. Uh, yeah, now the Zeus are in. There's not much I can do. My commander tries their best, but there's not much they can do. Or it. Whatever. <sighs> well, that was shameful, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. And that's going to be it for me tonight. I've... Yeah, it's been an hour or so. That's me. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that it was somewhat educational. I think I learned some things, but it's hard to really show it because of the sheer gulf of skill between myself and Google Frog. So that... Yeah. That's the thing. Anyway, once again, hope you enjoyed that. That's going to be it for me tonight, so thank you all for watching, and have a good night, everyone.